Well, I, I apologize for this video because the uh, the scenes I'm showing you are not exactly in sequential order in which they uh, they were filmed. They, they, I'm jumping around a little bit. I'm trying to put it in such a way that it kind of makes sense. Uh, I guess I'm not all there this week. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have something for you better next week. Thanks for watching. Well, today's video is about the uh, newest acquisition to Shoestring Shipyard and it happens to be a collection of jack stands and I I just picked them up uh, a couple of days ago and well as you'll see the video I shot there wasn't any snow uh, like there is now but uh, woke up this morning and here it is the beginning of winter here in Maine uh, once you get the first snow, you're pretty much in it for the rest of the season. And it's November 3rd, just got back from boating. Uh, well, I'll just show you the rest of the video, it's not a very long one. Uh, I'm doing other things inside the shop, but I didn't shoot any video of it. I'm just making a few key fobs for a local nonprofit that they're going to use to give away for Christmas. Has their logo on one side and a little something on the other. and the uh, the wood is mahogany that uh, they they own a boat uh, called uh, the motor vessel Sunbeam and they did a refit and they pulled out some of the mahogany trim inside and uh, I repurposed that wood and uh, so it, it has a significant meaning to them and to the people they'll be giving some of these things away but uh, I just didn't bother to shoot video of that. And you've seen me, if you've been watching my videos on Down East Thunder Creations, you've seen me use my X-Carve uh, CNC machine before, so I didn't find it necessary. Anyway, let me show you the jack stands. Another great score for Shoestring Shipyard. I found all these jack stands on the uh, Facebook Marketplace. And they were advertised for free, first come, first serve, and I jumped right on it. It had just been listed, and I ran down to, uh, to Belfast, Maine. Oh, about an hour and a half drive from where I live. I picked these up yesterday. Everything's fine on these, except that they don't have the, the, uh, the plywood pads and the brackets the pads mount to. But that's minor, I can easily fabricate those. And the real value are the Acme screws that go into the top of the jack stand. These are kind of tall for what I, the boats that I have, but I can easily make new jack stands at a lower height. The goal, though, are those Acme screws. They're about $150 each and about another $30 each for the Acme nuts uh, that the handles are welded to uh, at Fastenal. So, I can make smaller ones and the steel to make them is relatively inexpensive and uh, just adding those Acme screws is what is really going to make the deal for me and making up a couple of brackets and plywood pads and I've got a total of seven of them so that's a that's a great addition to the shoestring shipyard fleet and they're really going to come in handy I'm going to be needing them pretty soon. Yeah, this sucks. I'd say my uh, season for boat building is pretty much uh, over as far as working on the hull goes. And this is the, the vessel I just recently purchased. And at least I got some cover on it. Us. What I didn't do is uh, I didn't get the top that's over my new sailboat construction. I didn't get that down and now it's got a bunch of snow on it. Fortunately there's not that much snow where it's going to collapse it. At least I hope it won't. It damaged the top. 
So at least it looks like we might have a couple of days where it's going to warm up a little bit and enough where that snow should melt and I'll get that top off so it doesn't collapse the structure and I'll just I'll just drape it over the boat the over the hull but at least I got the uh, the new jack stands well new to me jack stands that I got for free I took those out of the truck at least I've got them there for now and the Acme uh, screws that are really the heart of the jack stand. I took those off and I've got them in the garage. Could be a long winter, mainly because we're here in Maine. And this is November 3rd, 2020, election day. So I've got to knock the snow off the truck and head into town so I can cast my votes. So remember peeps, Get out and vote and vote often. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?